So uh, welcome to uh, Microsoft Classroom Exploring and Setup and uh, we have previously uh, sort of looked at the Microsoft Classroom environment and explored that. Um, you can see that it's, it's pretty easy to add an assignment uh, for online uh, and then uh, if you wanted to you can just, just as easily remove them. But one of the questions that often comes up is, how do you do that in Class Notebook? And uh, here I am in the Period 1 English Notebook. This is the copy of the OneNote that I opened from this online version of, of the OneNote Online. I went over and I, since I'm logged in, I went over to File and I said Edit in Microsoft OneNote. And that's that's pretty helpful, especially for a uh, classroom teacher because it allows you um, the full functionality of, my, of Microsoft OneNote 2016. And to quickly review the organization uh, you can see that you have lots of different tools available across the top including the class notebook um, which is a add-on that you have to install on OneNote 2016. It's free. Once you install it it gives you access to all these features but what we need to do is actually connect it to our Microsoft Classroom. So you'll notice there's a, a gear over here at, th at the top right under Class Notebook. When you click on it, you can go down to Connections, and there are lots of different learning management systems, uh, also known as LMSs, that you can connect to. I'm just going to call out some of the popular ones that people seem to gravitate towards uh, Canvas, Edmodo, uh, Google Classroom, Haiku. Uh, and Moodle, uh, PowerSchool, Schoology, Sakai is in here as well. Some of these are available now and some are coming soon. I'm going to go ahead and go to Microsoft Classroom since that's the one that we're using today and click on sign in. And what this will do is ask me to sign in with my teacher account. This is the account that I'm using with my students to create my Microsoft Classroom and for me it's miguel.gulen at usmie.com. It's also going to ask me to go ahead and enter my password so I'm going to go ahead and do that and sign in and what I'm doing is building a connection between this class notebook that's open on my computer my Windows computer OneNote 2016 and the Microsoft Classroom environment that's 100 percent online here. All of this right here. So I want to be able to um, actually get grades that I record here in OneNote and put them online. So I've created a connection between this notebook and my Microsoft Classroom learning management system. And now I want to go and map the class notebook. You may have noticed that I have multiple class notebooks online. And uh, since this class notebook is relevant to the course period one English I'm going to go ahead and make sure that they're connected this way so this is my class notebook on the left side and on the right side I have Microsoft Classroom course so I'm going to click OK now that those are connected I need to do one more connection so I've created a connection between this notebook and my class course I want to or my account I now want and I map that class notebook to a specific Microsoft Classroom course and now I want to map my students and the benefit of mapping your students is that any grades that you insert uh, into uh, your OneNote class notebook are also going to be reflected in the assignments section of your Microsoft Classroom uh, so that is a really powerful tool because it means that you can have students completing work within Microsoft uh, Class One Notebook, excuse me, OneNote Class Notebook, and uh, then um, the grades automatically show up in the classroom. So I'm going to click OK, and now I have those connections uh, pretty much ready to go. I'm going to come over to my uh, content library and I'm going to create a new page for under week one introduction and um, 
just I'm just going to keep this generic. I'm going to call it a concept map. And my expectation is that students are, are going to be able to um, actually draw on a, a graphic organizer that I pulled off the web. So I'm just going to go in and choose pictures because this is a, a picture that I pulled off the internet. There's a graphic organizer. I think that's the one. It's not showing me a preview, so I'm just going to go ahead and click insert. And here's my organizer for a fractured fairy tale. So let me change my uh, title so it's a little bit more organized. Um, and now I have an organizer for a fractured fairy tale. And I want all my students to have access to this. So I'm going to come over to my class notebook and I'm going to create an assignment. And the title is Organizer Fractured Fairy Tale. Please fill this in for the fairy tale your group is analyzing for the And then once I have that, I can set a due date. So if I want it, um, today's the, what or whatever the date might be, I could choose any one of these. So today's the 13th, um, tomorrow's the 14th, so I can give them 24 hours. I can also set a time if I wanted to have this due at a particular time. I can do that. I'm, um, I think I said this was like a first period class, so let's set it for 8 o'clock a.m. And so this has to be done and turned in um, by 9. And I want to place this in the handouts, uh, excuse me, under the assignments, so that way it will be available for students in their assignments. So when they go to their, each student goes to their assignment section, they will see Organizer Fractured Fairy Tale. I'm going to click on Create. Notice that I received an error. Let's hit it again so you can see it. It says assignment title may contain only letters, digits, space, and these symbols. And so unfortunately the colon is not one of those symbols. So what I can do is let me try another one. I'm going to try the hyphen. And it accepted the hyphen and, and so even though I have a, a colon in the organizer, when I go look at, at the students and I look in their assignments, I'll see that they have an organizer fractured fairy tale and it's got that hyphen there. So here I am, I'm TCA student 31 and as a student I can actually come in and just draw on this and uh, I'm going to do that just really quick. Um, let's see, my name is uh, TCEA student 31 and then uh, the organizer uh, for the fractured fairy tale, um, maybe I told them to put the setting, and that's in the woods. Uh, characters, well, there's the wolf, grandma, red riding hood, and of course, if you haven't figured it out, this is uh, little red riding hood. And then uh, I could also post a, um, uh, a short item here, whatever. We, you know, you can fill this in and, and add to it. So as a student, I filled mine in um, for student 31. Let me jump over to student 32 and go to assignments. And uh, again, I can come in and notice student 32 hasn't done any work yet. So let me pretend I'm student 32 just for variety's sake here. TCA student 32. And now I, um, just for the sake of having something in there. Now that uh, my students have worked on this assignment, it's now coming up on grading time. I need to look at it as a teacher. I can come in and uh, review student work. So I'm going to go review their work and choose assignments. And in the assignment section, you can see that I get a list of all the pages that are in their assignments. 
So here's organizer fractured fairy tale, and it gives me a list of the students. So if I have, you know, I could have a class of 50 students, but for just for our example today, um, I have TCA student 31, TCA student 32, and as I jump over here, I see different ones. Now one of the neat features though is that I can come up here and click on enter grades and now I, when I go to TCA student 31 I can actually assign a grade so I think he's on the right track I'm gonna go ahead and just drop an 80 in there and then for TCA student 32 well, it's not doing so well I'm just gonna drop a 50 in so um, when I click on submit these grades are actually being submitted to Microsoft Classroom. When I go back to Microsoft Classroom, and I'm just going to just switch to Calendar. Actually, let me just reload the page. Oh, there it is. Organizer. Uh, I didn't even have to refresh. It it did it on its own. There's the organizer for Fractured Fairy Tale. It tells me that I have two assignments turned in. Um, I believe two have been graded, and it gives me a uh, a bar chart, a graph of the information that's there. When I click on submissions you can see that these assignments have been graded. What happens if I go back and say you know what I've, I've seen that, I've reconsidered, I'm gonna change that grade to a 90. Uh, Y'all have done some excellent work on improving that and now I have these grades here. So I'm gonna click on close submissions because it's that's all my students have submitted. And I guess one of the questions that I have now is, um, have those grades changed in the OneNote class notebook? I don't know. I'd have to go back and look. Um, let me review student work, assignments, enter grades. And you can see that the grades have actually been updated. So OneNote class notebook is actually pulling the grades from Microsoft Classroom where I made those changes or adjustments and saving them here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just click cancel because I don't want to make any more changes. And that's just a quick overview of how you can create an assignment in uh, OneNote's class notebook and using that class notebook for a particular class. And it all comes back to making those connections. Uh, connections with your, your teacher login, mapping the class notebook that you're looking at and uh, to a particular course in Microsoft Classroom LMS that's online and then mapping your students so that your students um, are reflected each on each side. So a very easy way to, to do that and uh, I think that makes uh, Class Notebook a phenomenal tool for uh, disseminating work, sharing it with, with students and then accessing it. We'll continue our exploration of uh, Class Notebook in just a minute. But uh, for now, thanks for watching this video. Uh, my name is Miguel Gulen, and uh, you can find TCEA Microsoft Innovative Educator Resources uh, in the uh, notebook that has been shared online. Uh, it's available for you. It's uh, ly.tceaorg forward slash TCEA MIE1. Uh, you can also find a lot of resources online in the uh, Tech Notes blog and that's at www.tca.org forward slash blog and you can also follow me on Twitter at M-G-U-H-L-I-N thanks for uh, watching this uh, short video um, featuring one of uh, OneNote and Microsoft Classroom um, connections and, and the ability for these two fantastic tools to work together with each other